weapon. Moving into purple. One more to go after Ooh. this. <laughs> One more set. Purple territory. Purple territory. This is our kind of territory. All right, here we go. First up, hidden threat zero. Uh, seven cost legendary three six. I've never seen this card. Agility. Memory 7, return the unit in front of the X pocket. If it's MP cost is 6 or less, set memory 10 gains 2 plus 4. Plus 2 plus 4. I like it based on all that. <laughs> yeah, I like it too. I'm not sure precise. I mean, okay, 4 can run it. I mean, Rezo? Maybe. I think any purple deck can run this card. Yeah. It's just got so much utility out of it. Ooh. And plus, it's got agility as well, so. Returning. I mean, it reminds me of Tigrex, but better. Yeah, at least it, it returns instead of Tigrex can't. But um, and then he gains plus two plus four. So I like it in Thread Zero. I'm definitely gonna run this card um, in a deck when I start getting a ball rolling. <laughs> uh, I wanted to pull this card, but I haven't pulled it. Uh, I haven't pulled it yet, so don't worry. I'm not the only one. Uh, uh, next. I'm just I'm just holding on to my souls. I don't have a lot of souls. I only have like 8,345. Well, you've got the choice of one legendary, so you know, you're okay. Yeah. You're okay for now, don't worry. <laughs> uh, next up <laughs> is the epic 5 um, cost 180B. Uh, uh, when played, if there's an extra card in your X pocket, return a random enemy unit with an attack of 2 or less to the X pocket. We went over this one before. We're a bit. Mm, iffy with this one like it's it's um situational i guess oh man i don't know i just i don't, I don't like this card you're yeah, just not a fan of it yeah I, it's I too know. expensive yeah I, I think i go with that he just costs too much for what he can do um if he was a four or three if he was a four no nah, i think four so he can synergize with fours the synergize with the fours yeah okay i'll go with that and if he was like a 3-5. Yeah. I just don't like that stat line. I hate cards that have 1-8-1 one, one attack. Like <laughs> He's going to die to an easy destruction. <laughs> what are you There's doing? There's so many cards that just deal with that. I mean... It either dies to murder spikes or it gets bounced. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there are definitely quite a few cards that are two or less attack. That's fine, but yeah, I think he's hate he's mana cost in it. Stats in general. Yeah, for make him shit. Yeah, for five. I just don't. I don't like his stats for five. Like for a five drop, I don't. I don't like his stats. I'm gonna pass on UV. Too bad. Um, next up is the four cost one seven uh, Mizusun, which comes with agility and attacking gives a random enemy a minus one attack. Effective to one attack, and every seven he gains plus two. I kind of like this one for fours. Yeah. I mean, even if you can't get memory seven, you can eventually get to memory seven. But like, you know, as long as he gets to keep it 100% hitting the opponent with agility, um, one unit keeps losing one attack for one attack. Um. Which I don't mind because a lot of the minus one attacks on the cards that Purple has has been actions or they were growths and then that was it. Yeah, this card, this card, this card's pretty good. Yeah, so I, I, I don't mind it, but we'll see how things go. Uh, next up, I think this is pretty fun, a pretty cool card. Uh, Metal Shark Player. He's a 5, a 1 8, again. Uh, Memories 2 places one Necro Centipede onto the field. The Necro Centipede like is a four cost, though. Uh, so I think that out outrightly pays for it. <laughs> no, I, I like this card because the uh, Necro Centipede is one of the new basic cards. Yeah, 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 that's right. So uh, Metal Shark Player is uh, pretty cool. I like his resonate effect, that plus one, plus one. Yeah. Makes yeah, up yeah. for that stat line, so. When we get to that card, you guys will see it, but definitely, and like, I, I, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, this is actually pretty nice, I don't mind it. There are stats yeah. I don't like, but nonetheless, they've got a good effect. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, next up is the 3 cost 2-5 Asurgis. 
When played, gives a random action card in your hand or Xbox at minus one MP. I like it. That's yeah, good. Um, I mean, you're, what is it? Action, action card? Minus one? Doesn't it from your hand or X? Or, you know what? It's actually not bad. Yeah. I, I just wouldn't run it in fours, but. Maybe 3.5? Maybe, maybe Rezo? I don't know. 3.5 is a Rezo, definitely, because I think Rezo is a benefit from just because of the uh, minus one to all your spells, so definitely a Rezo for that. Um, next up is Forecast 2.5 Trish. I'm not a fan. At death I like the art. I like the art, it's cool, but yeah. At death, sends two cards from your deck to the graveyard, then gives a random friendly unit other than self flight. I mean, why are they giving these cards send two cards to the graveyard? I just don't understand. Yeah, I mean, okay, on death, giving a, a unit flight, that's fine. Fours could, that could benefit with a fours, that's cool. I just don't like losing two cards <laughs> in the yeah, first. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't either. And it's just annoying. I was okay with this. I was okay with this card until I seen the send two cards from your deck. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, yeah. Four two five is cool, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a yeah, down for me. Lose cards. Sorry. You just don't want to lose cards. Nah, I just don't. Want, I don't want to lose cards. <sighs> Cause you you never know. You might lose one of your legendaries. I know. I should just like. You don't even know. You won't know really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this card. It's it's okay. Unless the, I mean, I think there was a reason. Uh, I think there's some card that recycles something. I, I can't remember. Someone was talking about it. No, no, no. There's uh, it's an it's the action card that's kind of like uh, it's the draw card. Okay, okay. We'll get to, when we get to there, then we can then try to yeah, figure yeah. this out. All right. So moving on. Um, Shogun Senator. 518 again. Uh, Resonates plus one attack. Uh, Why is he a five okay. cost? I mean, there's just there's better Rezo cards, I think. Yeah, I, I agree. There's just better Rezo cards um, than this. So, Art Pass Shogun. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I mean, unless you're on a budget. Unless you're on a budget, then yeah. Budget reasons, you probably run uh, set that center. The 6 costs 4, 5, D. Uh, memory 4 gains plus 1, plus 2. That's it. That's okay. 5, 7. Um, so you can drop him at any time. Once you hit 4, he'll turn into a 5, 7. If he hasn't lost HP. He's, he's just a beat stick. Yeah, rush, I guess. Something like that. I he think doesn't so. Rush. I don't know. He's a six cost, so that's kind of like iffy for me at least. Yeah, he's just a beater. I mean, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy with that. Uh, next up is the four cost three six Tigrex. Uh, when played, send two cards from your deck to the graveyard. Again. See, okay. 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 I, I know. I know. He sends two cards from the deck to the graveyard. I just said I don't like that. But. Yeah. But. His stats make up for it. His stats do make up for that. I, I do like the three six on him for a four cost. Um, yeah, for a four we, cost, three six is not bad. When we get to that action card, then then we can go over about explaining how this can benefit. Um, so I'm, I might run. I can see running maybe two. Two of him. Okay. When we get to the action card, because I don't know yet precisely until I read it, and then yeah. Uh, now we have a three cost three two Colin. When played, explore for weakness. I think that's what purple was missing. Uh, yeah, because, instant explore for purple. Um, the weakness was always on death, so at least now it's on when it's uh, called an explore for weakness. So I'm thinking there's definitely got to be a way to utilize weakness now because it's a negative three to one unit or one attack. Uh, I mean, this card is a memory fodder. I think. I mean, weakness is is a two cost. I think. Or one cost. I mean, this this card also helps out a purple red explorer. A purple red explorer. So I'm gonna look into an actual now proper red, Jill red purple deck. I did build one for the XGP, which was fun. But now I'm gonna actually try and build one that's proper for five MPs and, um, and see how that goes. 
I think it would work. I think with Colleen, I think uh, it actually uh, makes it work. Because then you also have uh, Generation Reploids. New Generation Reploids, yeah. But then again, I don't know how many of that I want to run. One or two, really. But we'll see. I would run three. Because you'd pair that up with Jury. Oh, yeah, with Jury as well. Yeah, so Jury, Jury would be like your ultimate win condition in that deck. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how it goes. So we'll have to get some crafting and working. Uh, next up is the 3 plus 2 5 Manuela Hidalgo. Uh, memory at 2 adds one action card from your deck to the X pocket. Um, I like that. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's better version of Rose. Well, but, no, it's not because no, uh, Rose can continually add cards to your X pocket. That's the right. only does it once. She does it once. Rose is constantly adding to your X pocket. So it's a it's a weaker version of Rose, but when it comes to stats, it's a stronger version. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's a right card then in that situation. It's good for memory fodder. Definitely for memory fodder. Okay, so that's all the units. Alright, so now let's get to these actions. Okay, so X first up is the second cost X Hunter's card. I was looking at this before and I was like, okay, I'm, I need to understand how the hell this shit's gonna work. Because, one, this places a cruel mind surge onto the field on one of your anti board slots. Memory 10 additionally places the Dark Blade Agile and a Wrecking Ball Violin onto the field. And that memory 15 additionally gives all friendly units plus two plus two. Uh, I like it. Uh, I'm... Because I know that, what is it, Cruel, what is it? Okay, Dark Blade Agile is a purple card, so I'm assuming Wrecking Ball, Violin, and Cruel Mind Surges are... not purple, because we just went through all the units and I did not see those cards. Oh no, they're all purple. They're all purple? Yeah, they're all purple. I don't remember our wrecking ball card. <laughs> no, um, they're not single units. Okay, so those ones are just... Yeah, they're exclusive to this card. Exclusive, okay, because the only one I know that technically was there was freaking... Oh, well, that's Surges, but... Okay, maybe not. Yeah, Cruel Mind Surges, but... Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, have you seen the effects? Uh, no, okay, explain to me Dark Blade, Agile, and Wrecking Ball, I'll guess. Go over it all, but let's go. What do we got here? Alright, so Cruel Mind Surges, or Sergey. Sergey, yeah. Resonate gives all friendly units other than self HP plus one. Mm -hmm. While on the field, gives friendly Dark Blade, Agile, and Wrecking Ball Violin, Veil. Okay, 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 okay. That's cool. Alright. Now we go to Dark Blade, Agile. And he has agility. Mm. On the field, gives friendly, cruel mind, Sergey, and wrecking ball combo. Oh! And he's a two seven. He's a two seven. What is uh, cruel mind, Sergey? One nine. One nine. Okay. What's uh? Okay. Next up, wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. Heavy pierce. While on the field, gives friendly, cruel mind, Sergey, and dark blade, agile spillover. Okay, these guys really help each other out, shit. Yeah, they combo well they, with each other. They combo hard, okay, and then you... When do you play this? Because at memory 15, they ga they all gain plus two, plus two. This is a... an endgame card, for sure. That's, yeah, it definitely has to be an endgame card, because... Um... Memory 10 is not hard to get. Um, memory 15 is just win more, but, I mean, you would play this at memory 10. Probably memory I don't see why not. Yeah, because you just get them on the field and then they start comboing each other. Alright, that's actually really cool. Um, I definitely need to see this card played in an action just to see how things roll. I, I actually yeah, don't like it. You would have to get rid of Sergei first because if you don't, he's going to give Veil to the other two. Wait, isn't, but isn't that a good thing? Having Veil? Kinda. No, 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 no. But I'm saying if you're going against this card. Oh, right, you've definitely got to get rid of Cruel Mind Sergei immediately. Yeah. Okay, just to avoid all the others, but yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, next up, Maverick Memories. Um, obviously, it was amongst all the memory cards revealed. 
Destroy a friendly unit and negates an action card with an MP cost of 5 or less. Memory 10, negate the action card without destroying a friendly unit instead. Um, I like I'd it. I'd say it's really good. Yeah. I'd say it's really good. I like it. Um, I'll be happy when I pull the damn thing. <laughs> it's the only memory card I haven't pulled yet. I actually got all the others in my first 30 it's packs. The, it's the only card that negates uh, Brainwash. Uh, Crow game, Living Death. Yep, yeah, this is the one card you need to negate anything that's uh, that costs seven or more. Um, well, whatever the high cost rod cards because they're all freaking sevens and sixes and all that. So, um, don't, all, all to be fair though, freaking um, no, no, yeah, that's it. No, yeah, pur purple, uh, purple has destruction out of his zero's ability. That's right. For a 6 MP unit. Yeah. That's alright, never mind. I'm good. Alright, I've pulled one or two of these cards. Uh, two cost Miraculous Awakening. Give a friendly unit death, return itself to the X pocket. Memory 4 additionally gives that unit death plus 2 MP. So, I'm trying to understand precisely how this works. So, the friendly unit has death and then it comes. Does it return to your X pocket or does Miraculous Awakening return to the X pocket? Uh, the, the unit with the effect returns to your ex pocket. Okay, cool. Um, and then, uh, with memory 4, you get additional 2 MP. Okay. That's alright. Alright, I mean, sure, you, you get to bring the unit back, so I guess you get to, um, save a unit. And, uh, you get 2 MP back. So, yeah. I would have to see this card in action, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm still not sure, but I gotta see it played and how well it's. It's just a little bottom. slow with the death. Since it's a death effect, um. I mean, unless it. You um, have to wait for it. Yeah, the unit would have to die to get the 2 MP, so. Uh, we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, but it's, not a, it's not a bad card, just looking at it. It's not bad, but definitely gotta take some time. Alright, what am I fighting for? Uh, one cost epic loss of meaning. Uh, gives minus one MP to a random action card with an MP cost of two or more in your x pocket. Is that minus or is it minus minus? Yeah, in the game it uh, shows minus minus on the internet. Uh, if you want, uh, it shows minus one. Look. Maybe it's just the. Uh... Miss, might uh, be a mistyping in the game. It might be a typo. It might be a typo, but like I don't know what's a minus minus one. I'm assuming that would be two minus two MP. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I like it. It's only targeting the cards in your X pocket. So, um, but as long as they cost two or more in your X pocket, they're losing one MP. So that's all right, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. It, it is a one-cost card, so um, that's your memory fodder right there. Yeah, memory fodder, yeah. So, yeah, I like it for that. Uh, next up is the three-cost Cold Front. Returns all enemy units with attack of one or less to their decks. It's okay. That's okay. I mean, sure, green will be running mana cost cards. Fine. Return them all back to the deck. Cool. Yeah, but other than that, I don't see it being useful in other matchups. I don't see black having a lot of units that have one attack or red. So, yeah. This card... I mean, unless you're utilizing Cold Front and comboing it with freaking um, we um, weakness, weakness. Weakness? Okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, so you're, you're weaknessing units, dropping them to a negative one attack, to one attack, and then you're cold fronting to return all units. Yeah, not, not, not bad. Alright, so that's gonna take some setting up to do, though. I've gotta really pull yeah, out the deck. This card needs setup. So, that's, that's how I can see it work, but yeah. Um. Next up is 
the full cost calculated guidance. Seizes control of an enemy unit with an MP cost of 3 or less, because sure why not give purple another mind control at a cheaper cost. <laughs> uh, but this is a this is a much weaker. It's a weaker, framework. but I mean, I think because black has got a some threes that you probably want to steal. I heard someone say that you probably do it on freaking. Um, I think I like very good people. Where's legendary? For black. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Sigma. Sigma. Sigma's a three. I think. No, he's a four. No, he's a four. Okay. Yeah, he's a four. Controlling unit with an MP cost of three or less. Um. Okay. It's it can still be pretty fine. I mean, it's four instead of seven to my control for one. And I mean, I, I think if this part was uh, four or less, I think it would be really good. If it was four or less, so, uh, <laughs> that'd be really good, yeah. Um, I still think at three, there's some stuff you can definitely seize control of. If anything, you seize control and then maybe ascension for it. Yeah, but, hmm, I'm just thinking, hmm, there's not a lot of cards. Maybe. We'll need to see how this goes. I mean, uh, I mean, there's some cards. Uh, I mean, maybe a one of, I don't, I don't think you would run two. Or three. I think you'd run maybe one, just because there's not a lot of three cost cards that you want to steal. Mm, true. We'll have to see how things go from there. Uh, next is the four cost Escape from Control. Returns one friendly unit to your deck. Returns one random enemy unit to their deck. So it's a return turn thing. think. No. Bounce for a bounce. Bounce for a bounce. Um... It, basically, it's like um, it's the it's the four it's the it's the four one um, that came out last season. Or was the season before that one. Um, it has Dull Slim and Birdie in it. Yeah, I don't know which card you're talking about. I forgot. I yeah, forgot the name. That one just sends them to the X pocket. This one goes to the deck, so. Uh, I like I like this card though. I mean, look, Devil May Cry Five artwork is. I mean, think about it though. I mean, you have, let's say, you're playing against a Quetzal. I mean, you're going against a Quetzal. You have a, uh, let's say, Lupo. You activate this card. You bounce your Lupo back, and you bounce your Quetzal back. Yeah, it's any unit. So the, the bouncing part is just anything. So that's what's cool. Yeah. Oh, you can return a three cost unit. Man, yeah, you can return Karen, dude. Yeah, man. Look, they cut Karen on you, you use this, and you just send that back. I mean, to the X pocket, sure, they can replay it again, but I mean, if it's back in the deck, that means they have to wait for the draw it again. So, yeah. there's some RNG in that, so. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely see some pretty pretty interesting plays from Escape from Control. So. I mean, you definitely wouldn't run more than two. Nah, I wouldn't go more than that. Um, two to one. Yeah. Right, for a reason. Uh, next up is the four cost parry. Returns an enemy unit with two or less attack to the X bucket. And memory four. Yeah, same, same. I feel the same way about this card. Returns an enemy two unit or one. with three or less attack to the X bucket instead. I probably wouldn't bother with it. <laughs> I don't know. There's just... I'd be IO with this card. There's a better card. I think there's a better card. Demonic Intimidation, I feel like. It's yeah, yeah, Demonic is definitely better than this card. I just used it because it looked cool, because the art. Yeah, no, the other one, the artwork is cool as shit. Dante and Virgil are fucking sword fighters there, so, um. But otherwise, yeah. Demonic is I mean, better. I mean, Demonic only bounces the three. The three or less. This, this can actually bounce a five cost card. It could, actually. But then it realist attacks are because there are four costs and there are five five cost cards that have three or less attacks so yeah true that's actually right okay one or two carries depending i mean maybe even three but uh, four costs i think three is too much the four costs yeah, 
Yeah, two of them. Two of them. One. The full cost is what brings it down a little bit. But, alright, alright. Now, no, now that, knowing that, then yeah, I, I can definitely see some better uh, place with this card. Uh, next up is two plus Secret of Clairvoyance. Gives an enemy unit minus one attack, effective one attack. At memory four, additionally hold the unit for five seconds. Mm. Uh, I think it's not bad. It's not bad, but I think cards just do this thing, do its effects better. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted a halt, there's just more, there's just better cards. Mm. I mean, if the halt was longer, maybe, but like. I don't yeah, know. five seconds. Five seconds isn't much. I mean, dead weight. Dead weight is better than this card. Yeah, I don't mind it. They don't lose with one fun attack. It doesn't bother me that much because they hold it. They can't attack. Um, it's an okay card. It's okay. I think it could be way better. Maybe. I mean, we have better options. There are so. better options. Uh, three is the armor shredder technique. Is a friendly unit reverberates. I don't know what that is. Resonate will trigger an additional time when an action card is used. This effect can stack memory four. Additionally, gain two MP. Basically, it doubles resonate to five. Okay, so reverberate means we double resonate. Okay, cool. And this card can stack, so resonate can go from plus one to plus two to plus three. Uh, and then if you have four memories, you gain two MP. Yeah, so you use this card on like a, a Zenko? Mm -hmm. Zenko? Yeah, she gets nasty real fast. She will. Okay, I kind of like this card now. Now that I get the reverberate part properly. Um, okay, and the fact that it can stack? Yeah, that's kind of pretty dumb. But. Yeah. The difference being that it's stacking, it can only stack so much, I think. Yeah, it's not, it, um... I mean, technically, good. three armor shredding techniques, that's it. So three times uh, resonating. If you really want to get down to it, but yeah, no, I, I, I like it. <clears throat> so, it's all right after that. Uh, I next, mean... You play it on if you play it on V. Yeah. That means he resonates two times, right? Yeah. So he'll he'll instantly get two units. He'll get insta two units through the field. But that's after one of his units dies and you resonate. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's a bit weird, but we'll have to sort of get around to that card. All right. Next up, three cost exposed evil eye. I like this. Uh, for three, you MP boost your hero for 35 seconds, so no unit is giving you the MP boost your hero is getting it for 35 seconds. Mana ramp for purple. Mana ramp for purple. I freaking was like, I think purple deserves some mana ramp, and hey, hey, look, we get some mana ramp. It only costs three. But this is one. There's another one, actually. So it, yeah, there's another, there's, there's another one. It, I think it depends on what you think is best. So, I like this. It's just, yeah, any purple can run this one. Um, <laughs> next up, we got Knockout. Uh, four costs. Halt an enemy unit for five seconds. At memory two, additionally deals three damage to all enemy units with Halt. So, I like its effect. I don't know if it's going to really benefit this season. I think it's too expensive. It might be too expensive. Um, I mean, unless, like, you know, halting units and then getting all this free damage is going to sort of start coming back, then Knockout can really see potential. But right now, yeah, for the cost of what it does, probably too much. Yeah. But otherwise, you know, it's not, it's not bad. I like it. I mean, if, it, if the halt was longer, Sure, the halt was longer? Yeah, it'd be good, it'd be good. Five seconds is nothing, so... Mm. Uh, next up, three cost the lullaby. Give minus two attack to an enemy unit with four or more attack. 
lullaby. Alright, that's it. If this was all enemy units with four more attack, it could be better. I think that would be a lot better because it's just targeting one, so. I think this card's too expensive. Mm. For what it does. Yeah, I was just still a bit iffy when I saw it. So, I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't like it. That's working. Alright, next up is... Not, not for three. Not for three. Not for three for what it is. Okay, two cost uh, revelation. Draw one card uh, to... Are... Sorry? Uh, this is the card we were talking about earlier. The... Okay. So this is the card, okay. So draw one card to your X pocket. Memory full, additionally return one random action card from your graveyard to the X pocket. Okay, so that's cool. That we can get action cards back from the graveyard to the X pocket. Yeah. Recycle. A recycle is nice. I like this. Um, but the cards uh, before are sending two. They're not really sending actions. If they, if they were deliberately sending actions, Revelation is going to be amazing to run because I'm like, okay, I know I've got these in my graveyard. I don't know what they are, but I know they're in my graveyard. Now I just activate Revelation and get them back. <laughs> yeah, I like this card. I like the recycle options, so I just it depends. I just gotta figure out like um, one action card. So actually, it returns any action card, which is cool. I mean, you run this to get more memory. You definitely want to do it to get more memory. Um, so that memory four, you can get back any other card. So. Um, three, two? I run three. Three. Either way, you're drawing into your X pocket, so you draw. Which is the way I see it, if you, if you combo this card with a Splendid Buffet, yep. it's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, I like this card. <laughs> I like recycling. Cool. Uh, any purple deck is perfectly fine for that. Um, next up, four. Cost unforeseen destruction. Uh, negates an action card with an MP cost of 3 or less. At memory 7, negates an action card with an MP cost of 6 or less instead. Mm. Memory 7. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Yeah, memory 7 is what's expensive about it. If that memory 7 could be dropped down a bit, then yeah, I'd, I'd run it. Maybe. But, like, we have the Legendary, which just, you know... ...can negate anything, so... It's just the, um... It's just the memory at cost, I think, is what brings it down. Yeah, because you're not gonna... You're not gonna get memory 7 right away. No. It'll definitely take time, so... Other than that... So, like, I'm... Let's say you have this card in your opening hand, you're playing against a black deck, they use Obliterate. You're not going to be able to use this card, so... Nah. Not the best versions of Fur Negate, but not the worst. Alright, that is all of purple cards. Alright, moving on to the final sections of this, uh...